And welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Oh, got a phone call. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Alright. So we gotta get to the core. Oh, there's an elevator. The, ele the elevator says R1. But what does the R stand for? Come on, Papyrus. Think about it. Hmm. It stands for red. Because that's the color of the lights. Obviously. I guess that makes sense. It does. Alright, let's go in. Please select a location. Okay. Uh, I believe if we choose a left floor one, it'll take us back to like the beginning of Hotland. So we're going to choose right floor two. Well, who's this guy? Heh. I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. Heat's Flamesman. Okay. Remember his name. Heat's Flamesman. Oh. Sands. What? My brother's actually at a station. What? I thought he only had three stations. No. He has at least four? Who the heck keeps hiring this guy? I don't know. Seriously? Hmm. That's a mystery. Well, do they have something to say about this elevator? Wait, Undyne. If the R stands for red, what color does L stand for? Uh. Light green. Oh, of course. Wait, isn't that two words? Light sea green. Three doesn't fix the issue. Light sea foam green. Aren't you working in the very next room? He is. Huh. Toasty bun. Hot dogs. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's uh, just too lazy to clean it off. Yeah, that is kind of uh, weird. Yeah, snow. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Want to buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Okay. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Hot dog? Heals 20 HP. The meat is made of something called a water sausage. Okay. I uh, wanna buy a hot dog. Alright, if we try and buy another one. Another hot dog. Here you go. Whoops. I'm actually out of hot dogs. Here, you can have a hot cat instead. A hot cat? What does that do? Heals 21 HP, like a, like a hot dog, but with little cat ears on the end. Okay, and if we try and buy more with a full inventory... Uh, you're holding too much. Guess I'll just put it on your head. Yeah, here's another hot dog. It's on the house. Well, no. It's on you. Here, have fun. Here, have fun. Yeah. So, if we keep asking for more... Yeah, he'll keep stacking hot dogs on your head. Which is, uh, pretty funny. 
And if we get to a certain amount... Uh, hang on. I'll be frank with you. As much as I like putting hot dogs on your head, 30 is just an excessive number. 29, now that's fine. But 30... Does it look like my arms can reach that high? Uh, I don't know how he managed to put 29 on my head, but thank you. Yeah, if we try moving left or right, they, imme <laughs> they immediately fall off our head. So, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, have fun. And we can just keep asking him to do it more. We're just we're just gonna uh, leave now. Papyrus, why are you wearing those? Papyrus, excuse me, I'm the very cool online guy, Cool Skeleton ninety five. What? No, you're Papyrus. Undying. Shh. You're going to reveal my uh, secret online persona. Fine then. I'm not Undyne. The name's Strongfish91. What? Really? Oh no! Strongfish, please bring back my friend Undyne. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Alpha's supposed to the picture. A dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Oh, she's kind of like the embodiment of Tumblr, basically. Um, py Pyro bounced towards you, so new enemy. Let's check him. Uh, attack 29, defense 14. This mischievous monster is never warm enough. Hot enough for you? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, he, this is probably my least favorite enemy of this area because... His attacks are so annoying to dodge, especially that one. Alright, so uh, let's heat him up. Uh, you crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! Okay, so yeah, you have to. God damn it. Yeah, you have to be moving during that attack through the orange flames. Crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Damn it. I go away. Cool Skeleton95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I need to heal. Um. Uh, nice cream. You're super spiffy. Your HP was maxed out. Alpha sub update status. LOL, Cool Skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? Cool Skeleton 95 updates as the only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Yeah, there's a secret path up here. If we read the sign, our club meet here next meeting, October 10th, 8 p.m. Yeah, kind of a random room here. So this is for Art Club. Alright. If we go down here. NapstaBluke22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request? Uh, sure. It seems to have already rejected itself. Aw, oh, NapstaBluke. Why? There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Alright, we'll take it. Got the stained apron. 
Stained Apron, Armor Defense 11, heals 1 HP every other turn. So that's actually pretty useful. So I think we're going to equip that. And then we're going to uh, abandon the old 2-2. So, okay. Alright, let's move on through Hotland. What? You have to solve a puzzle on the conveyors! Oh man, did I ever tell you my conveyor puzzle idea? What is it? Imagine four basketball hoops on the sides of a conveyor loop. The conveyor keeps speeding up until you get sick. Then you have to puke in all four hoops in a row. I hate this. You, you have to time the pukes. Uh, that sounds a little morbid. Oh man, you want to hear more of my gr great idea? I'm gonna hang up now. Yeah, it's best to do that. Hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This p puzzle is kind of, um, timing based. You, you see those switches over there? You, you'll have to pe you have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll to try to help you with the rhythm. All right, three switches. So, one, two. Ah, dang it, Alphys. Okay, now press the third one. Yeah, I was in the middle of something. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Yeah, well that's convenient. What? How's this puzzle work? Um, whoops, I think it's Undyne's turn to talk. What? No, I hate puzzles. Pa Papyrus, you do it. Well... Alpha's made the puzzle, right? You should you should just call her up and say in a hot voice, Alphys, I need help with a puzzle. Oh my god, no, shut up. Fine, give me your number. I'll do the hot voice. No, that's even worse. Hmm. Audible wink. Wait, whose number is this? Mm, still my number. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle, Lamal. Uh, hey! I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm, I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Alright, so we got another puzzle involving steam vents. Once you know what to do for this, it's pretty easy. Deceptively tricky, but easy. Just like that. OMG! People think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? LOL! That's a joke, right? Hmm. Mew Mew to see, cutie. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese, it feels it fills you with determination. Always involving the mouse. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Where are all, where are all these tables coming from? Maybe that they belong to the mouse. What would a mouse need a table for? To put the cheese on. But where's the cheese come But where's the cheese come from? Uh, doesn't it come from milk? Oh my god! Get out of here! Wait, does it come from milk? 
Ah, <laughs> uh, papyrus. Uh, okay, I think we're good. OMG! Don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. <laughs> opinions, opinions, opinions. Oh wait. Careful. The Royal Guard patrols that area. I think it's Royal Guard 1 and Royal, Gu Royal Guard 2 today. It's funny. The bunny actually requested to be with the dragon guy. It's nice when people are platonic friends like that. Okay. So we gotta keep an eye out for them. Hey! You! Stop! Well, there they are. We've, like, received an anom anonymous tip about a human wearing a, a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know. Sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Oh no, Royal Guard attacks. So we got two of them. Well, let's uh, check them. Uh, attack 30, defense 20. Royal, Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Like, team attack, team attack. Hmm. They always have to get the... Every monster has to get their way, do they? I right, check this one. Attack 30, defense 20. Royal Guard member with stuffy armor. Like, you're dead and all. What? There we go. O1 stands as guard. So, since O2 has stuffy armor, we gotta, I think we gotta clean them. You clean Royal Guard 2's armor, it, its cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like, prepare to die, right? Getting warmer. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Ooh. Ah, much better. Royal Guard 1 looks bothered by something. Well, let's whisper to him. You tell Royal Guard 1 to be honest with his feelings. I. I. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, no sense in coordination. D dude, I can't... I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, O2, oh, I like... I like... Like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. O2, oh, I... Like, want to stay like this forever. Um. Uh. I mean, uh. Psych. Gotcha, bro. <laughs> oh, one? Y yeah, bro? Do you want to. get some ice cream? After this? Sure, dude. <laughs> O1 and O2 are looking at each other happily. And now we can spare them. You won! Hmm. Well, that was a battle. Alright, let's save again. Alright. 
Now that that's out of the way, let's move on. Oh. Oops. Oops, wait. How's the human doing? Well, I'm doing okay. Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. I would like to know what those are. <laughs>